Hi everyone, Paul Richmond here, and I am hanging out with my good friend, Melissa Foreman! Hi! You may remember her from such wonderful videos as Painting with Friends or our road trip excursion across America. We are hanging out via Skype today because she's on the other side of the freaking country. So we asked some people on social media to send us some questions because we like to give silly answers. <laughs> well, I do. You do. You like to force me to try and do it as well. What is the scariest thing that could happen to you? This? I was going to say having to do this before I had my hour to print. I'm fine with that. It's just answering the questions that's scary for me. Oh, please. you! I can tell you've done some primping. Oh, please. <laughs> she didn't just wake up like this, although she probably kind of did, which does piss me off a little. Would you rather have a super fat face or a super fat ass? <laughs> I think the fat ass, don't you? I mean... We could be like Kardashian sisters. Yeah, you kind of rock it. What is? What was your favorite Halloween costume? Have what? you ever worn any besides the one I made I you have. wear? have. <laughs> yeah, it was not the Sonny Bono costume that me you made me wear. That was horrifying. People kept asking me, what are you? But then when they saw you next to me, it made total sense. Uh... What else have you even dressed up as? I don't believe you. I don't think you ever dress up. I do. Let me see. I keep thinking about things I was when I was a kid. I was never the girly things. Like, my sister was always the princess. Yes. I was, like, the convict in the jail outfit. <laughs> you were rocking the orange is the new black look. Before oh, no. Black and white stripes always. Never. <laughs> oh, right. Well, that's what you're wearing today. <laughs> you're wearing your favorite costume right now. I think my favorite Halloween costume, or at least the one that, like, worked the best, was when I was David Bowie from Labyrinth. Because I've yeah. tried to do a lot of drag Halloween, and that is never very <laughs> successful. <laughs> do you believe in ghosts? I want to believe in ghosts. I wouldn't say I've ever seen a ghost, so I can't say yes, I believe in them, but I I want to see a ghost. I want to believe. <laughs> we used to go to that, that haunted inn that you would make us all go to. And when no ghost showed up, I would just force it. Or we would do the Ouija board and you would make up ghosts that were there with us. Well, here's a lovely one. <laughs> I, don't even know if, I don't know if I can Oh, this. no. <laughs> no. Which oh. is why it's a real good one. When it comes to peens... Comes to what? Peens. Okay. Penises. Oh, okay. Do you prefer longer or wider? <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead, Melissa. The clock's ticking. Yeah, it can keep ticking. I'll take C, all of the above. <laughs> That's a safe answer. <laughs> Who is the one person that you wish you could get to pose for you? Me, right? Oh, yes. That, that <laughs> yes. Who should you paint? Let's see. Cheer! Uh, no. <laughs> she was not my first, I mean, I wouldn't say no if Cher went into the painting. Oh, that's progress. I would say Tilda Swinton. I think she's awesome. Oh, that would be good. Very okay. mood, very moody. So if you're watching, Tilda, call Melissa. How about you? Um, Cher. Oh. Uh, let's see. That's boring. We'll skip. Um, <laughs> no, you can't do that. Public sex versus sex al fresco in a natural location. Analyze and compare. Oh my goodness. You're going to make me answer this, aren't you? Yep. yep. <laughs> oh gosh. I guess al fresco. Why, Melissa? Because the second part of the question was analyze and compare. Oh, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I <hate> this. <laughs> All right, moving on, moving on. Okay, what is the drunkest you have ever been? Where were you, and who did you wake up next to? Well, I'm sure it was at your apartment. I can't imagine you ever being drunker than that. No. You turned into, like, the girl from The Exorcist. <laughs> I did not. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> I don't remember that. Mine was the time that I had just moved in with Dennis, and we oh, uh, went to a yeah. wedding. And I hadn't eaten all day, and I had a bunch of blueberry martinis. And long story short, as you already know, I ended up getting really sick and like falling asleep in the bathtub, and our entire dining room ceiling in our apartment caved in. Came down on top of uh -huh. Dennis's new laptop. We had to call his ex to come over and help uh -huh. clean up with the shop vac. Not Let's your shine. proudest oh. moment. <laughs> if you had to choose, and you have to pick one, all of the money you ever want, or okay. all of the great sex for the rest of your life. <laughs> I'm going with the money. 
<laughs> well, then I'll take the sex because I know you'll you'll lend me money. What question would you love to have asked but has never been posted? I guess I'd like to be find a question that would embarrass you instead of embarrass me. I can't even think what that would be. I don't know. I can't think of what that would be either. Probably about when you were straight. Oh, yeah. We're not going there. No. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's what I want to be asked. Here's a serious one. So that'll, you'll like that. Okay. I, I can Ser do these. You're serious lady. Yeah, you can take this. So serious. Yes. I'm an art student, and I love your styles, but I wanted to know how much of another artist's paintings and their method or technique can an art student use or copy to learn from? So apparently this is probably someone that wants to like steal our styles. <laughs> oh, okay. Take whatever you want. Yeah, take all of her. <laughs> take hers. It's better. I think when you're learning, you can take a lot more than when you're working professionally. Yeah. So I think when you're learning, it's important to try a lot of different things and try and emulate people that you really like. And then I think once you do that, eventually you'll find where your style comes in. Yeah. I agree. What is the most endearing thing you find about one another, and then what's the craziest slash most annoying part about each other? Oh, <laughs> uh, but you're gonna really struggle to find something crazy or annoying about me, huh? Mm. Mm hmm Most endearing part about you? I mean, okay. you know, you're awesome and you already know it and that's boring, so we're not gonna go there. <laughs> but I love that you are like so serious and thoughtful normally, but you are willing to do insane things <laughs> with me. And often you even come up with them. Mm-hmm. Usually then, by mistake. We're usually <laughs> joking and then we, I say let's do yeah. it. But yeah, yeah, I love that. You are game for anything. Mm-hmm. All right, now praise me. I would say the most endearing thing about you is... <laughs> of course your adorable good looks. Oh. One of the things I like the most about you is just your bravery. You'll just... You'll do anything you think is right, and you'll stand up for what you think is right no matter what. Whether people agree with you or not, it's, it's yeah. what you feel is right, so you're going to do it. No matter what. The most annoying thing about you is how perfect you are. Yeah. All right, so I guess you have to say what's annoying about me. I mean, if you can't come up with anything. The thing I wish I had that, that comes really easily to you is that you always know the right thing to say at the right time, and you um, are willing to just stand up in front of any, anybody and just just freestyle it, just go and just talk. And I, could, I can't do that. I have to re prepare like crazy in order to be uh -huh. comfortable talking. And I I was like, damn it, Paul, I wish I could do that. And you probably especially get annoyed with me when I like put you on the spot. Here, yeah, Melissa, why don't you take it away with this part of the presentation? And you just like, what? Freeze. Okay, if you were both to give one piece of advice to a young artist, what would it be? Be true to yourself. Do what you like doing and don't let anybody tell you that what you're doing is wrong or that your style can't work or that you can't do a bunch of different styles. Something we were told in art school is that we had to find one style that worked for us and keep doing that over and over and I found the opposite to be true in my career. So do what comes naturally to you and explore all different sides of what you like doing and don't just stick to one thing. Mine would be similar. I would just put this slight twist on it of don't feel that you have to do what is cool or trendy or popular because everybody's trying to do that and I mean if that's what you like then do it but if it's not then do the weird you know nerdy thing that, that you like because maybe there's less people doing it and you could be like the star of that. You could be the trendsetter too if you follow your own style and your own thing, you could start something new instead of following something that already exists. Do you have a go-to place, mental or physical, for inspiration? Or do you take inspiration from your immediate surroundings? I take my inspiration from Dennis's cute face. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't hear him, but from downstairs, he just said, shut up. What about you, Melissa? Would you say Michael's cute face? Oh, oh yes. I just have to tell everyone who's never actually hung out with you and Dennis in person that this is exactly what you do all the time. <laughs> just embarrass Dennis by talking about how wonderful he is. Oh, Dennis. <laughs> Tell me how much you love me. I don't know if we have a real answer for this one. Sorry, no. whoever. <laughs> you like my little peacock? 
So that's all the questions for us, but we wanted to end by asking you guys a question that you can answer in the comments down there. My question is, what do you think Melissa should dress up as next year for Halloween? Leave your answer in the comments below and we will, I'll pick my favorite and- Oh, I'm sure you will. That's what Melissa will, will wear. Mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and for asking us questions. Be sure to go visit Melissa's website, melissaformanstudio.com, and see her awesome artwork. Be sure to go down there and like and subscribe so that you can see all of our future amazing videos. All right, thank you guys for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. 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 So here we are tonight at the opening of Bill Sanders' exhibit here at Open Ground Studios. Can you hear me? Uh-oh.